Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy. Now this one isn't exactly a part of the Mini Series, even though I'm using the Mini. This information will apply to lots of vehicles, and that is about painting your calipers. Is this necessary? No, not really, but I just did a brake job on this Mini. Everything else looks wonderful, but you look at the calipers, they're all crusty rusty, and they're kind of letting the whole thing down. So today, I'm going to paint all four calipers on the Mini. I'm gonna take you along for the ride, but I will start this by saying I'm not like a body slash paint expert, but I will say this, like 95% of painting is in preparation. And personally, I often don't have the patience for that. But I'll do my best to convey to you the information that you could use to paint the calipers on your vehicle. Job one is gonna to be to remove the calipers uh, from the vehicle. So I'm first gonna remove this from the bracket and then I'm gonna take the bracket off. Caliper removal is gonna vary by vehicle. So, yeah, you need to figure out how to remove your calipers now. Normally I don't like to let calipers hang like this, especially if the bracket and everything is attached, but it's gonna be easier to paint like this. But as a general rule, you don't wanna let the brake caliper hang by the brake hose like this. On these German vehicles, I'll take a bolt and just put it in there to hold things in place while I work so the rotor doesn't fall on the floor. Normally there's a screw that holds it on, but this one is missing. As I said previously, 95% of painting is in preparation. For these, I'm going to remove the caliper slides entirely. Just gonna take them out of there. Be sure not to get these mixed up because you can even see on this one that these pins are different. So this bottom one has a different look than the top one. But this will keep us from uh, painting our rubber uh, hardware on this. I'm also gonna remove the brake shims the brake pad shims, which are these guys in here, and I'm going to re just replace them. In fact, whenever you do a brake job, it's a good idea to replace these shims. So I'll be replacing all my shims front and back with new. The ideal thing to do would be to take this into and put it into a sandblaster, but I don't have a sandblaster, and you probably don't either. So I'm just gonna use this wire brush and I'm gonna go over this whole caliper and keep doing this until I've got the big chunks of dirt and rust and everything off the outside. I could go farther with this, but the idea is to get the main chunks and everything off of the parts that you're about to paint. As I said, preparation is 95% of painting. I also came over here to the car and gave the uh, calipers that are on the car the same treatment, both front and back. You could go so far as to disconnect the parking brake if you have a parking brake cable on yours like I do with mine. But I'm going for what I see through the wheel for the most part and I'm, I'm going farther than I you know, could because I could just leave everything still attached and just paint the caliper right on top of the wheel. I hate that, getting paint all over the rotor. I, I, that's not me. So I'm, I'm going sort of halfway in between. Anyway, the next step is to get all the fine dust and everything off of here. And for that, I'm gonna use brake clean. This will get all the fine particulate matter off. And brake clean has a really good evaporation rate. So it's just, it's awesome for this because in no time at all, this surface will be dry and free of any dirt or small debris. It also occurs to me that it's probably not a bad idea to wear a dust mask when you're doing this, just to keep all this junk from getting in your lungs. There's brake dust, there's rust, there's all kinds of stuff that isn't really good for you here. I'm now gonna mask off with masking tape anything that's important. And on here, what I consider important is where these caliper slides go in. I don't want to paint this area, so I'm just going to cover this up with masking tape on these brackets, but that's the only thing on these brackets. Now that I have everything masked off, it's time to paint. I'm gonna be using this VHT caliper paint. As far as masking goes, I didn't work too hard at it. I have a dark color here, but if you're painting them red or something like that, you wanna make sure that you don't get it everywhere else. You wanna make it look pro. So make sure you mask everything, make sure you keep uh, the paint where you don't want it to be. Me, I'm not so concerned, once again, dark paint. I'm doing this so I can turn around and sell it. You can take this preparation as far as you want. Like I said, 95% of this is gonna be the preparation you put into it. Sandblaster is the ultimate. I have everything set up here inside the shop. It's also better to do this outside and also wear a respirator when doing this. All 
All right, you don't want to go too thick. You can always come back and put another coat on it, but that's a general idea. Here's the result of our efforts. One more step, I'm going to install the new shims in these caliper brackets before I install them on the vehicle. I kept the old shims just in case. I want to compare them to the new ones and make sure they're correct before I commit. Hey, cool. We got new uh, rubber things in this kit. And I'm comparing these to the old ones, as I mentioned, just to make sure, and these are the same. So we're good to go there. No new boots in this kit. The result, gorgeous, aren't they? Here's a critical step, especially when you put new shims on. Spin the rotor. Make sure you don't hear anything with no pads or anything on it. Sometimes this metal will stick out far enough to where it'll make contact with the rotor and cause a noise that will drive you insane. If you check it now, you don't have to worry. I take a little bit of silicone paste to put it on the slide pins, and these pins are the same top and bottom from what I could see. I will link in the description videos that I've done on brake pad replacement to help guide you through that. New shims can be a little challenging. Do your business. On these, the long ones go on top, and the short one, which has a uh, little rubber damper on it, goes on the bottom. And that, from what I've seen, is typical. The, if the caliper is on the front, that the dampening is usually on the bottom. Here's what things look like behind the wheel. There's the rear. Well, that is how I paint calipers, but I'm not gonna claim to be an expert, so feel free to leave uh, comments down below about your tips and tricks about painting calipers. Personally, I'm not a fan of the leave everything in place and just spray it and a couple of brake applications gets the paint off the rotor. I don't like that. From everything I've come to learn about painting, painting is 95% preparation. So the better your surface is prepped out, the better your paint job is gonna look and last in the end. Uh, sandblasting, as I said, would be the ideal in this situation. A wire brush can work fine. Once again, leave your comments down below if you have other tips and tricks. I will leave uh, links in the description to additional videos about doing disc breaks, things like that. As stuff about this uh, mini, I've done a whole series of videos about it if you're interested in that. All that will be linked down in the description. If you have additional questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to ericthecarguy.com, also linked down in the description. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, do all those things that help make a living. I really appreciate it. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.